Hold on. Now, wasn't there a martial arts tournament a long time ago? That's correct. Ah, yes. I believe I'll explain since I once won the tournament myself. <laughs> what? Master Rashi? I never knew you won it! Oh, you just had to get him started. <clears throat> all right. I'm sure you have all heard of the World's Martial Arts Tournament. It was a contest held to decide the world's greatest fighter. Masters of the martial arts gathered from all over the world to take place in the competition. I believe Goku first appeared in the 21st tournament and went all the way to the final round. However, his last opponent was Jackie Chun, an unbeaten master who proved Goku still had a lot to learn. Five years later, the 22nd World Martial Arts Tournament was held. That's where Goku met Tien and Chaozu. It was Goku and Tien in the final round, and it was a doozy of a battle. They both gave it everything they had, but neither could outdo the other. Goku narrowly missed becoming the champion, and they had to call it a draw. <laughs> That's not much of a competition. Now I know why Kakarot got involved in such an easy tournament. <sighs> no, it's not that the competition was easy. There were just factors involved that made it more difficult. You know love has a way of throwing everything out of perspective. By the time the 23rd tournament came around, Goku had married Chi-Chi. Piccolo was on the scene and showed some moves that were really out of this world. This was a competition that separated the tough guys from the wimps. Goku made it to the finals, but not before facing some of his fiercest opponents. Toughest of all was Piccolo. Those two fought with everything they had, and it looked like Piccolo would claim the title of the world's greatest fighter. But anyone who knows Goku knows you can never count him out, even when things look their bleakest. The result of their battle left the tournament rink destroyed and the surrounding area in a shambles. That's why there hasn't been a World Martial Arts Tournament since. In the end, when all was said and done, Goku was declared the strongest fighter on the earth. Ten, twelve... How many years ago was that, Krillin? Quite a few. <laughs> Interesting story. Might make a good movie.